So here we are just four weeks from the Iowa caucuses. We wanted to bring in our political analyst, Republican Kevin Eckery, Democrat Robin Swanson. Thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for having us. Let's talk about this Trump ad. We know Donald Trump. Everybody knows him. We know his positions on immigration and he's going to spend two million a week on this ad. Is that money well spent, Kevin? Uh, the answer is yes. I mean, it, it's it's money well spent for a couple of reasons. One, it's a lot of money in Iowa and New Hampshire, so you're crowding at other people's commercials. And and second, I mean, his he thrives on just the constant drumbeat of attention and crowding out other people. So from that standpoint alone, I think you're going to find it valuable. Plus, pictures are powerful. And in this case, even though his pictures of so-called Mexican immigrants are really from Morocco, um, you know, it's 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 the visual and, and it's intense and, and it will help him. Do you think this will make a difference, Robin? Well, the ad is bombastic and it's irresponsible, but so is Donald Trump. That's his brand. So, um, yeah, $2 million a week moves voters. Unfortunately, negative ads always do. We like to think that they don't, but they do. I don't know that it makes him, puts him over the top in Iowa, because uh, Ted Cruz has the evangelicals working in his favor and he's ahead in the polls. So, um, at the end of the day, I don't know that it makes the critical difference, but I definitely think it moves voters. Yeah, Iowa's interesting because, f by and large, it's nothing more than a beauty contest. Contest. But Donald Trump needs to win it or, or perform very well at it because he's one of those people who's famous for being famous and popular for being popular. And if for some reason he, he falters too much in Iowa, then it's going to make it look like, well, hey, maybe he's not as popular as we thought he was. And that's a party and a parade we don't need to join. One of the interesting things we've seen here uh, from Donald Trump is uh, him going after the Clintons. He's not actually mm -hmm. running against Hillary Clinton in these primaries and in the caucuses. But let's talk about what's changing now on the Clinton campaign trail, and that is Bill Clinton now coming in to directly campaign for Hillary. What are the positives and negatives he brings to the campaign trail, Robin? He's a huge asset. Um, you know, he's a former president of the United States. He's only gotten more popular since leaving the Oval Office. And you have to remember, in 1992, he was the comeback kid in New Hampshire. New Hampshire voters like him. Um, and she's got to compete. Hillary's got to compete with Bernie Sanders in New Hampshire. That's home turf for him. So absolutely he's a huge asset and here's just hoping he stays on message. <laughs> Kevin uh, it was a little difficult four years ago mm -hmm. he wasn't always an asset. Yeah and and I'm not convinced he's going to be an asset yet I mean I think he'll be an asset in the general campaign but at this point he just symbolizes the kind of politicians that these candidates are running against and so it just emphasizes that if you want to bring back you know the the moral issues that were raised during the Bill Clinton's presidency rather than the economic issues because that'll be the message out of the Republican side. Hillary is right to push the economics, but, but when you look at the support and you look at where people are coming from or who are backing Cruz and backing Trump, etc., I mean, they're, they're message people. They're not necessarily, you know, um, uh, statistics people. And so the economic statistics may make their eyes glaze over, but they're going to be attracted to the, the social issues and the morality issues. And that's certainly what Donald Trump has been uh, focusing mm -hmm. on. And yeah, you can see why he's doing it. You mentioned Ted Cruz. Uh, he says there's a possibility, a good possibility, this primary could be decided in 90 days. So, Robin, do you think that'll be the case, or do you think it could take longer and California could play a pivotal role here? I don't. I think it's a big mistake to make a prediction like that. He's setting himself up for failure. Um, I think it's, it's the long game in the Republican primary. I think California could actually matter. Our June primary, our last in the nation primary could actually matter for once, um, where we actually determine who is at the top of the a ticket for Republicans. And what do you think? I mean, Kevin, is this mm -hmm. going to go all the way to the actual convention? Well, we'll see. And, and, and But we're not going to see in June. We're going to see in, in March in, during Super Tuesday. That's when we're going to see just how fractious this is and whether or not we're setting ourselves up for a brokered convention. Um, the 90 days is, is a possibility. The question, though, is I'm, I'm not convinced yet it's going to be Cruz's to win because so many people just don't like him. But you know who we're not talking about is Jeb Bush. I think it's fascinating that at this point we're talking about Ted Cruz, we're talking about Marco Rubio, we're talking about Donald Trump still, but we're not talking about Jeb Bush, the establishment candidate that had all the money in the bank, and he's not even pretending to play in Iowa. Yeah, Robin's and, right. I mean, this, and this, this, we this know is amazing. that yeah. if you if you perform poorly in Iowa, that you're not going to make it to the end of the day. And I I don't understand his strategy, and I'm just wondering if he's even in it. You know, I. 
yeah. banking I, on New Iowa, Hampshire. I don't mm -hmm. care. Everything is everything is New Hampshire <laughs> and South Carolina. I mean, right. Iowa just doesn't 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 seem to. It's just a beauty contest. The, and and, the, and the, the, those are not his voters. So mm -hmm. all right, not his Robin and Kevin, thank you both for your analysis. Thank Thanks, you. Guys.